G'day. In today's video, I don't believe I'll have a solution for you, but I'm hoping that I can go through various things you could try if your laptop isn't starting. In this particular one, it's a HP laptop. It's a HP Pavilion 15, I believe it is. Let's have a look under the battery. So if we go under the battery here, we're dealing with a HP model 15-E009AX. So what this one is doing is it's purely not powering, nor is the charging light on the side coming on, which is over here. So first thing you'd want to do is take out your battery, hook up your power to it, and see if it, from there if you get a power light. So try the power button on there, see if it turns on. If it doesn't, the next thing you, you will require a couple of tools to be able to do this. One will be a multimeter, and the next step will be connecting power and sticking your earth on the earth pin, and then just working your way through the various other pins to see if there's actually power going through that plug. So basically you tap each individual one, and you should get around 5 volts or so on here. But I've already tried that, so I'm going to dig a little bit deeper. So next up, if you have a spare charging cable, try that. If you can get your hands on another one for the exact same model. If still no good from there, probably going to proceed to where I'm going to proceed with this one. Where I'll be opening it up and inspecting it. So this one here, essentially I'm just going to work my way through and take out all the screws that are in it. So I can get this bottom cover off. And I'm wanting to test the actual power connector itself. So I'm not 100% certain it's functioning correctly. It may be missing an earth or two. So hopefully it's just a damaged charger port and from there I can get this going again. Because usually when a machine's showing no signs of power, even though that's a really bad thing, it means hopefully the, the fix is relatively simple. So I normally see, like, it's pretty rare for most laptops to randomly fail for no particular reason. So I've got a spare charger port I can try, I've got a few different power leads I could try. Hopefully one of those will get this going again. So I'm not really going into the depth of replacing chips or really soldering anything in this video. That's something that you may be able to do at home. Granted, most this one, oh, this laptop's from Windows 8 era, so it is of a design where you essentially need to take apart both halves of the laptop, which is great for the durability of the machine, but a pain in the ass for the repairability of the machine. Initially, I wasn't a fan of it when they first did it, where they switched over so you could just take off the bottom cover to get into the machine. But as time has gone on, even though that does mean a weakened chassis, for the repair standpoint, so I can crack one panel off and I can see and get to everything. I've got more screws down here. So from here, I think I've taken out the majority of screws in the bottom of this. So now I'm gonna have to flip it up and now take out the keyboard. I did see a bit over here that said keyboard release, which I'm not really familiar with. Start lifting it. Now I'm going to need a pry tool to get into there. Go. And also, if it's a machine that you haven't worked on before, or a machine that you don't commonly use, I find that if you're opening it up, there may be also you may also find other reasons why the machine mightn't be powering. There is a possibility that your machine could be water damaged. So someone may have accidentally spilled a drink over it while they were using it. If that's the case, that would definitely take out your machine. 
and probably to the point that it won't be able to be repaired or at least a cheap repair anyway sometimes you do get lucky with liquid damage and you're able just to clear off the liquid damage replace the part that's damaged so if it's a daughter board or a cable and you can get it going from there that is a fairly rare recurrence disconnect the trackpad down the bottom here and over here so this video will also be getting uploaded just purely as a teardown of this particular model of HP which may prove to be useful for some people if they just want to see what's inside their machine uh, power button doesn't want to come out flick the latch up, pull that out now from here I should just be able to put my fingers in and hopefully pull it no, it's being stubborn. Ah, that section's as if I've still got a screw in there. Let's check it out. And I do still have a screw in there. That will do it. Mostly looking good now. There we go. And we are now in. So now that we're in a bit further, I can't really see many signs of damage. Another thing is the main board would also almost be able to come out fairly easily now. So while I'm here, one screw, two screw, and I'll tilt that, wiggle it forward a little bit. That the speaker over here is stopping us. No, because what I want to do is disconnect the DC jack. And I'm going to try a different one on there. So I'll zoom you guys into the hotspot, which is right here. And I should just be able to wiggle this back. There we go. And I should have a spare, so I'm just going to go suss that out. So I've got my hands on another one. It is nowhere near as big as I was wanting it to be, but for the sake of troubleshooting, it will be fine. So I reconnect it in there, connect up the power. As you can see, we have no charge light. So that's not looking promising. So from here, as I mentioned about the multimeter, Actually, I will just close the lid slightly and put the battery back in. Okay, battery's back installed. Push down here. Still no light to charge. So right now, I believe this one has had a main board failure. So right now, there's probably not really much point in me proceeding much further on this particular machine. So, as I mentioned at the start, I wasn't really expecting an outcome with this one. Like, you could dig further and trace it back along the main board. But being this is also about a four-year-old system, time versus money, and also this bit of a grimy look over here, it doesn't fill me with much hope that I would be able to resolve this one. So anyway, sorry about the dud ending, but I'll catch you guys later. Bye.